All right. Uh, thank you so much for being with us in Author of Impact series. And as I promised to you, I'll bring you the world's best, youngest, and most amazing and talented authors. And today I have with me highly, highly intellectual, influential, and super amazing authors. So we got Ovia with us. We got Mahi from Tanzania, we got Adi from Tanzania, and then we got Pushan from Africa. These are the authors, and as you could see, they, they're the glory on their face, the charm on their face, and trust me, during this interview series, while we, you get to unfold their talent, when you get to unfold about them, you will fall in absolutely love, admiration, and inspiration for all of them. So thank you so much, Mahi, Ovya, Pushan, and Adi for being on the show. And thank you so much for contributing at such tender age for greater causes, you know. So why I say the greater causes, guys, let me tell you what it is, why they are called celebrated authors, why they are called celebrated children. Because at this age, when children are usually busy thinking about their toys and gadgets and about their school and projects, these kids have done something phenomenal. They have actually learned about the inspirational people. They wrote their stories in their own words. They've given them so much, uh, you know, so much of great framework about their stories that now the same people, when they look up to their stories published in the book, they fall in love with their character, what they have become. And, you know, this is the power of the words which these small authors have given to. Not only this, while being publisher, while being the author of the book, and while getting the book published, they not only stopped helping here, but they extended the help to the poorer society also. Every copy we basically sell of Living Life of Inspiration, it actually adds value to the people who can't afford to buy their own meals, who can't afford to buy their own books. So anytime the copy is, single copy is sold, that money actually go for a greater causes. And we've been able to help more than, you know, 1,500 such causes. And uh, we have sold almost 1,500 copies. And with every copy, we could create one meal for a time, so which is in a bigger impact. And uh, also now that going forward, we have around 2,500 copies also getting published. And they are also going to be sold in the market. We are every penny, guys. It, it, the all credit goes to you people who have been the author. Okay, you, you know what, what beautiful work you have done. You are one of the reasons somebody is eating meal. So you are one of the reasons somebody is having medicine. You are one of the reasons somebody is finding inspiration. And while reading your thoughts, people are finding way how to live a life of inspiration. So kudos. And thank you so much. I give you a big, big, big welcome. You, you really deserve a big round of applause for, for being a contributor. So uh, thank you so much, those people who are with us online. Yes. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, these are some real, real talented people. I want uh, to make you introduce with each of them, and I'll tell them to introduce themselves. So let me first invite our youngest but very, very talented uh, student, Mahi. Mahi, please. Tell our viewer, what do you do? What do you love? What is your interest, Arena? Please share with us. Surely. So my name is Mahi and I'm in seventh grade. I am 11 years old and I have lots and lots of hobbies. First is dancing and painting. I like to draw. I like to paint. And second is writing poems, writing stories and motivating others. Wow. And guys, this book, thank you so much, Mahi. Beautiful introduction. She's been very modest and humble. She's a talent house, actually. When you just look up to her, how could somebody be so perfect in all the arena with the same kind of excellence? This is what you get to know when you get to know about Mahi and her work. So thank you so much, Mahi. You are still keeping modesty and you're being very modest, telling yourself in a very brief and short intro. But yes, you, you deserve a big round of applause for sure. And now you're a published author too. So may I invite Ovia to please introduce herself to the yes, viewer. Surely. Yes, Ovia. Surely. I am Ovia Singh. I, I am in sixth grade. I am 10 years old. And I have many hobbies like painting, dancing, singing, and motivating others. 
thank you so much ovia and absolutely ovia is a great storyteller you give her a topic she can go into depth of the topic she is somebody who really finds at such young age has an iq exactly like an adult and really have a intelligence and charm uh, like like any highly influential people you know could ever have so ovia we love you and uh, not to forget ovia has also contributed a lot of empowering course into the book and we are so thankful for this thank you ovia and now let me invite over the youngest but a very very talented coach yeah you might be surprised who is coach here other than me yes we have a, i have a co coach here kushan dave who at this age actually coach other children all right he being my student so we have mentor mentee mentor relation kind of so any time uh, you see kushan he is uh, someone who has got such an a deep level of life understanding and he really shares all this knowledge with the people who are of his age and he is quite and popular for his skills yes kushan please introduce yourself to the audience hi mes hi everyone um my name is kushan dave i also live in tanzania i'm of course one of the co-authors in living life of inspiration and i love reading books i must have read over 1000 books and more and yeah as mes said i'm also a coach and yeah i love life <laughs> thank you so much kushan thank you so much so you get to know if you have any queries those who are live with us please drop in the comments so we can get to know who is they are live with us and if you have any questions to ask my youngest co-authors please feel free to write in the comment section and let us know who you are and where are you from thank you so much and now let me call upon someone who has an authenticity that one can swear by i mean when i think of adi i my i my, my chest swells with pride and i i take so much pride talking about him in any platform he's someone who has got such an authenticity such humbleness and such clarity of thoughts that is really praiseworthy so may i please request adi to also tell uh, my words will never do justice for you beta so please tell our viewers about you what do you do what do you love yes thank you ma'am for all those good words so my name is adi chohan and i am uh, i'm 13 14 and i study in uh, grade 10 I was one of the co-authors in Inspiring Lives by Priyanka Bell, and I absolutely loved the experience. I have many hobbies like playing chess, playing tennis, basketball, etc. And I would like to add one more thing. Priyanka, I'm told that we are everything. We uh, she's thankful to us, but we are only because of her. I would like to thank her for all of this for giving us the opportunity. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, as I told you, uh, thank you so much, Adi. Thank you, Mahi. Thank you, Pushan. You see, your friends are already there with us. They are watching you live and sharing their love and comments. Thank you so much, those who are being with us and encouraging my young uh, juniors, but very, very talented. And trust me, these people are going to be history maker. Tomorrow, if you see them on a big, big platform and you are craving for autograph, you would know they were the one who, in this pandemic, actually became author, became public speaker, were really utilizing every minute, you know, doing the every pound of it, so that they can create legacy, and they are creating it quite successfully. So, uh, guys, I have a small surprise for you. With your permission, there are two influential people who have sent their video bites. With your permission, if I can play. Yes, are you all excited? Sure, ma'am. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'll ask my team to play this in the background. Thank you so much, Asta. Thank you, Asta is giving love and Rahul. Thank you. Yes, Find Rahul. This book so which came to me. Living life of inspiration. Twenty-five inspiring stories, which have been put together by Priyanka Behel and her team. Each story is so well written. so beautifully expressed that it makes for very interesting reading and my special thanks goes out to adi chohan uh, who made the effort of putting my story of dropping the past and walking the present into this book thank you adi you have done a fantastic job and thank you for sparing the time and making the effort uh, for of writing my story out there uh, priyanka Uh, all the best to you and your entire team 
uh, congratulations on this stupendous effort and I wish you all good luck and Godspeed. Wow, that was amazing. I'm a veteran of the Indian Army, TEDx speaker, author of motivational books, and an award winning YouTuber. During my interaction with people, I found that only a handful of people can become authors in a lifetime. And I'm really impressed to find students who have become authors. They have written chapters for this book, Living a Life of Inspiration, under the able guidance of Mrs. Priyanka Bahel, who is running the academy for grooming them, training them, not only to become efficient and good citizens, they are going to do much more in their lives. And this book, Living a Life of Inspiration, I think is going to inspire millions of people. I congratulate each one of you and Mrs. Priyanka Bahel for this fantastic work. Thank you. So guys, these were two messages from, thank you so much, Major Khare. Thank you so much, uh, Major Dogra. You know, Major Dogra Adi, he's an Iron Man. You wrote about him and you were so highly yes, influenced by Such his an inspiring yes. person. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know what, like, uh, he was so full of uh, enthusiasm, he wanted to send a personal message to you. And then I thought it would be great that if I play this message, I, I kept it with me secretly. I thought it would be great when I interview you, I'll play this message for you. It was such a good surprise. Thank you, ma'am. And thank okay. you, Vikram Dograv. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Major uh, Pradeep Kharani have been uh, basically, you know, he really given us the guest faculty he was there while we were doing this plan of the book. And he really helped you all. And uh, this is how he feels. And trust me, he's one of the highly celebrated authors. And uh, when he writes something, when he says something, it really means a lot. And I'm so thankful to Major Kharani too. So for such, such a beautiful message for all of you. Isn't it? So how, how you guys are feeling? Were you like really expecting something like this? You would know coming up for you or you would know that you would land up meeting them or you know what? You have actually created a legacy. This all people now know you as a brand. How is the experience? How are you feeling? What is the feeling inside? Um, I definitely did not expect this surprise and it was such a good surprise. I'm really happy after watching those two videos. I'm like really happy. Thank you so yeah. much. And uh, Kim, Kim is going to invite, you know, Kim is going to invite Pushan on uh, one of the workshops. Actually, when I said Kim is, uh, when I said Kim that, okay, Kim, uh, you know what, Pushan is also coach. So Kim is an international celebrated coach. She's going to actually invite Pushan to be giving one small lecture to the training. You know, so it's a bigger surprise for Pushan. I work with Kim, Pushan. And uh, trust me, every time she tells you something, there is so much of learning. And this is what you have achieved by being the contributor of the book. So not only on a personal growth, but on a social growth, on your professional growth, everywhere, I guess, uh, you know, this is what you, you get when you get published author. So you create a brand yourself, right? So Kushan, are you excited about it? You and so Kim sharing the same <laughs> Yeah. When you said that the show was going to be like impromptu, you wanted us to show our true emotions. I really didn't know that you were going to give us this many like surprises and stuff. So, like, so thankful to you, Miss. Thank you so much. So, okay. Uh, now, guys, I'll, I'll have to ask you this thing. What, what is it? There are, there are a few things which I know about you. Absolutely. But, you know, there are so many viewers who are with us and who are also going to watch us after once our show is there. So for them to really understand, to put yourself in five adjectives. If you have to define yourself in five qualities, what would that be? So first, my question goes to Ovia. Yes, Ovia. Okay, so first is learner. And uh, I would call myself as 
smart and you are you are yeah <laughs> and uh, creative obviously because yeah. like you create almost everywhere <laughs> yeah right. and uh, yeah two more um, two more yeah two more so I think over uh, the if, if love has ever a face, it would be your face. You are so compassionate that people easily fall in love with you. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> the way they, the way I always have so much love for you. <laughs> All right. So, so let me go next to Kushan. Kushan, how do you see yourself? If you have to define yourself in five five qualities, what would that be? Uh, five qualities. Huh. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I'd also say smart, though I'd lean more towards like genius. Um, reader, learner, curious, and extremely handsome. Nice, very, very, very smart and very quite active. You answer this. All right, may I go next to Adi and how Adi see himself as? Ma'am, uh, I would say creative because my writing skills, I think, according to me, are pretty good. And then I think my, I am a type of person that if I will sit with you, I can distract you and learn myself. I'm that type of guy. <laughs> you won't Absolutely. even uh, understand that you will distract yourself. Okay. Then I uh, can call myself uh, smart and uh, resourceful. Very nice. Actually, you are, Adi. And thank you so much. This I absolutely know. On top of that, you are highly authentic person. So you are what you are. You are what you are inside. You are what you are outside. <laughs> so, so, so much of authenticity that I see uh, the greatness of uh, Amitabh Bachchan in you, actually. All right. Now we move to our youngest, but the highly talented girl, uh, Mahi. Mahi, please, how do you define yourself in five qualities, if you have to? Um, so, of course, and obviously, I can't like find qualities in myself. It's pretty hard. But I think I am so but so I think I am creative. I am pretty because whenever I look in the mirror, I think I'm pretty beautiful. And then yes. I think I am kind hearted. I am like I I am thankful for what I have. I don't look at others. And I think I am pretty humble and kind. Absolutely. Absolutely. And guys, let me tell you, uh, there is there's a small incident which I should really mention here. Mahi has been one of the winners in my video entry contest last year. She won a prize money, okay? And uh, she really happily asked me, ma'am, you do so much of work with NGO. Please give it to somebody who is in need. And that was that was a moment I could, I still get the goosebumps, see? I was like so touched by such young age, somebody is having this kind of thoughts about humanity and wants to share her winning money with people. This really shows the kindness somebody has in the heart. And uh, Mahi is someone of, of that kind of person who actually donated her entire money. Not only Mahi, in Adi also, they both donated their money for the contribution to the poor startup. And they were not like any other kids who really, you know, took the money and spent on the chocolates or the treat. They're really given it for the cause. So we are so thankful, Mahi. This, this was one of the reasons. You know, I have so many thousands of students across. But why you guys were chosen, there were reasons. Because your energies really had the synchronization with the purpose where we wanted to launch the book. And all of you were handpicked. And all of you came uh, through the grace of God in my life. And that's how we been part of this project and this book. Thank you so much, Gia. Gia is with us and she's giving a lot of love for all of you. So she's saying, great going, everyone. Thank you, Gia. We love you and thank you for taking out time. All right. I have one audience question from uh, Mr. Sharma. Okay, Mr. Chinmay Sharma. So Chinmay is asking Pushan, what is your inspiration to become coach at this age? So please, uh, there is an audience question which has come up. So, Ushan, would you like to answer this, please? What is your inspiration to become coach at this age? Sure. So, um, okay, to become a coach, at first, I wanted to make some money to buy a PS5, which, yeah, 
I wanted that, you know, instead of my mom or dad buying it for me every time, I buy it myself. But after I started doing the classes, on the first batch itself, I had enough money to buy a PS5. But I realized that not only did I teach yoga, I also taught uh, different things that I've learned through many courses I've been attending, like Mrs. Public Speaking uh, courses, other such courses like Silver Mind Control, NLP, how to change you can't to I can. So I, I learned about this and I figured out that, you know, many other kids, I thought it was normal for everyone to know this, but it's actually not. Not everyone knows that, you know, how to be motivated or how to do any task or, you know, how to accept themselves. So I decided that instead of just having my selfish motto of buying a PS5, I can also do it to teach them. So then I also ran a second batch, third batch. And now I'm planning also fourth batch. Only right now my school is going on and that was during the summer holidays. So maybe in this summer holidays, I'll run a fourth batch. So yeah, that was my inspiration, you know, teaching kids about something that I know. Thank you so much. I hope this question has answered your, uh, you know, Thank you so much, Pushan, for sharing this. And this is how we grow, you know. I think uh, I always tell people, learn to teach others. So when you learn to teach others, you not only in that process, you get better, your practices get better, but also you become someone who's a contributor. So Pushan, at such age, if you're doing this, and that too so wonderfully, I'm sure this will take you to the long, long, you know, a, a bigger, bigger altitude in life. All right. So thank you so much, Saroji, uh, for, uh, for giving us congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Pandey. Thank you so much, Rahul, for giving, encouraging the kids. All right, guys, I have a question. So um, if uh, you, it is impromptu round, so whosoever wants to answer it first can raise the hand and answer it, okay? All right. What, what do you think your future job will be? Because right now at this stage, children are just busy about their classes and their school. And at such age, you guys are already doing something very beautiful, phenomenal all the time. So what do you think that your future job will look like? What, what are your, your plans here in the mind? Is there anything that you feel? Yes, Mahi, please. We would love to hear from you. And after that, Pushan, then Mahi. See, this, these guys are so amazing. They all have their answers ready. And, and I said, they have so much clarity. I really mean it. Yes. So Mahi, we'll start with Mahi. Mahi. So I have different um, fields of interest now. I do art, I do music, I do dancing. But the thing that really inspires me is art. So I think my future job will revolve around some art or being an artist and also fashion designing and all because I really love it. And I'm, I think I may also motivate others by I think kind of writing books and quotes, which will like really make me happy and others too. Very nice, Mahi. And you said it absolutely right. And uh, you know, being a creative person, you have gazillion of options. You know, a creative person is not stick to one field, but has so many arena one can explore to. And yes, we have one life and we have to make the most of it, not only by ourselves, but by contributing others. So you rightly said, thank you so much, Mahi. So we moved to Pushan because he was the one who raised the hand next. Yes, Pushan, please share with us. Okay, so of course, as any child, I've had many dreams about what I want to be when I grow up. So the one before this was I want to be an international corporate lawyer because my mom and dad, they both say, you know, I'm really good at maths and my uh, judging skills and everything is very nice. So I could be a nice uh, international corporate lawyer. But then uh, last term in our school, we learned about how the energy issue in our planet and how much this waste, how much this toxic um, gas is being released just by burning this waste. Like, did you know that 2 billion metric, uh, 12 billion metric tons of waste are produced by the earth? per year like that is insane an insane amount and on the other hand for um, energy we're using fossil fuels which are a finite resource so as uh, maybe you have heard about it but durban is actually making energy out of waste so what they do is uh, whenever you burn waste uh, you it creates the steam and from the steam you can create energy so this, I think, will be my future job, a business about creating clean energy or energy using trash. And that is also, as we were learning this, that is also the product that I've submitted for my um, grading. And yeah, uh, that is what I want to be when I grow up. Absolutely beautiful. So that's what, you know what? 
a average person will think of his bread and butter earning and would just think of what he wants to have to sustain or to survive but uh, exceptional personalities which are just like 1 or 2% the rare people they are thinking for bigger causes they are thinking to impact lives they are thinking about the world they are living to so very very nice pushan pushan before i move to adi for the next question uh, rahul dave has asked uh, one question for you so his question is that you have read over 1000 books wow and what is your backbone to read so many books and what is your favorite type of books okay so um okay i have read a lot of books but my backbone to it is about how they create different worlds and stuff i really love how you can just get lost into a book and be into another completely different universe or alter reality as as it said and honestly it's sort of my motivation because it really motivates me i if i can see alter realities i can see that oh this is what the world could have been like if there would have been a small difference or oh this uh, this is what some people live through you know it really educates me on the world and i find that very interesting and as i've been going older i've also started reading really educational books like what in which that teaches his son versus a poor dad or uh seven um uh seven rules for teenagers what is it seven habits of highly effective yes seven habits of highly effective teenagers it's made by the sun uh sean covey and yeah i read other such books i love them and uh, yeah that's my backbone to it and that's also my favorite genre all right i hope rahul this has answered your question thank you so much pushit Uh, okay, now we move to Adi. So, Adi, please share with us, uh, share with viewers. So, what, what, what is there in your, you know, future dream? Yes. So, professionally, I'm going to take the science stream and become an engineer. But at the past time, like, I just want to start writing books. Like, uh, even in this age, because I've seen many young creators like uh, Parth and Daksh, they also started writing books. Parth has written, I think, two books, and I'm really inspired by him. I also want to write some books. and inspire people become a public speaker and also if there is time i can play some chess and uh, go for in, in front of that field <laughs> lovely and you know what adi you already are a public speaker when you speak you you create so much of realities and uh, so much of you know facts and figures right in front of people when when i listen to your speeches i i get moved down like how how much clarity this boy has with his thoughts and how much he has to offer so definitely i really look forward i because this author of impact series is going to be for all the authors and i look forward to have a one on one interview with you when you have your book on the shelf and i would be glad to promote it because i know when you write something it has to have a greater meaning and essence so for sure yes so moving on my little and very very favorite extremely talented oh we are saying yes oh yeah yes uh, yeah so i would there are three things which i want to become uh, so i'm just thinking in that that what should i so first is an artist second is being a space scientist and third is like uh, third is a motivator and, and i want to write books and quotes which inspire people you you already yeah. are doing that fab and tabulously obvious uh when i was reading your quotes and my quotes i could not believe that these are written by the youngest contributor of the book in this book we had uh, like roughly five youngest contributor mahi obia being one of them and my extremely favorite jia who you have seen yesterday and then there were two more girls all girls huh? all girls and all highly uh, intellectual inspiring very very clear and super adorable then deva smrita and leana so they've been the contributor and uh, i was very impressed the way you know the quotations are so much life oriented how much depth they have and uh, some of them i really kept as my status for many days and on my instagram and my social handles people really put thumbs up likes and hearts on to those quotations those were created by ovya and mahi so now you are seeing them they are the real inspiration i get inspiration for my daily dose of motivation okay so you know when people ask me how do you remain so positive so giving so loving all together because i have an army of loving giving contributor people 
now you meet them and you know why what is the what is the basically the backbone behind all this right <laughs> okay so uh, thank you so much uh, sudha okay thank you sudha is also giving in question yes sudha will take up your question uh, let me have my questions which has been created by for them by their own friends and uh, they they really want to know from them okay while writing the book while writing the quote while writing contributing toward the book what was what were few things which even change your own perception because when we create our connection with the person who we are writing about there is some shift in our energy in our vibes in our thinking process so what had been that those changes for you so let me ask first with kushan kushan you wrote about kim who is also my mentor you know i was in a very very ordinary person and trust me like there are some people who have a midas touch kim is someone who has a midas touch and uh, from being ordinary to extraordinary this had all been in my professional life through kim so you you just wrote, uh, write about her story and you were so fascinated to write about her when you uh, just watch her interview so please tell me what what is that shift what were the learnings which you personally felt were very very inspiring about kim's journey Oh yeah definitely so when i was writing about her first when you sent me she sent me like six seven authors to choose from and i read each and every single one or watched the video and the one i found most inspiring like you know there's always this thing where the second in any movie or anything whoever comes second is close to the third but the person who comes first the way ahead of everyone that was came under her for me she had such an inspiring and beautiful life okay i won't say beautiful but she turned it into a beautiful life and a beautiful story um she really i really felt the mildest touch by her i felt that like i turned to gold um she showed me that there's no such thing as hopelessness like she suffered so much in her life which i have included in the book and still she comes out on top while by being a extremely successful woman not only in her life but in her career as well as supporting other women who are in much lesser predicaments than she was in and she was able to not only like get through those issues she was able to bloom you know she was able to thrive wherever she went and i feel it is truly amazing how she has succeeded in or not only in her life but in her career as well so yeah i love her story and i love um, kim underhill herself so thank you thank you so much pushin and uh, you absolutely rightly pointed out she is a star maker okay i have never seen a boss like her i've been privileged blessed lucky as that i la landed up working with her for 5 years and we are still working 5 years in my corporate career and i still continue to work for her in india and in malaysia there are any times any trainings she really counts me in for support which i feel absolutely blessed about so kim is a person who have really made a lot of people ceos okay a lot of people who are like nowhere in the career path she has turned them into ceo level by creating the leadership and by creating so much of you know wisdom in them by and, and this is you know such positions are dream job for people when they are in corporate career sometimes when they land up like living their 60 years of life they don't get to reach there but kim had made so many people and i have personally witnessed it i have been also one of the person my my career got skyrocketed when you know i was under her great leadership so absolutely rightly said and that's the reason she is my mentor and uh, i i absolutely love this thing about her okay yes adi so you you wrote about someone who whose character really matches with you this man is highly authentic mr vikram jhopra can you share with us about your experience of as an author so before writing about him i did know that he was the iron man of india triathlon uh, champion etc but when i started reading about him when he gave me the options that these are the people you can uh, choose from them so i looked at each of them and uh, i saw victor dogra's name i saw the video whole video and then i got to know what were his real struggles but uh, what was the reason like why we know him as the iron man what was the struggles which were behind it like it was so long of cycling so long running and uh, swimming etc so much hard work so much stamina determination so and at a age 
that is so high so other uh, what do we say participants were of a younger age but then also did not stop him uh, he told me that age does not matter whatever the situation is and you must keep going no matter the situation because if you have the determination and hard work to do something you can do anything so this inspired me a lot and uh, you know because of having such a great story i could write such a good a chapter on him and i absolutely loved the experience it was just amazing to know him more and now i personally know him and he gave me a special thanks to me and that's just so lovely and uh, thank you i really loved to get this experience thank you so much adi that's very very heartful and i'm sure mr dogra when he'll be watching this he'll feel absolutely proud about you and he is already is okay he already is and uh, he he really mentioned that to me that when he he soon love to see adi on a ted platforms or something like that sharing stages with him so this what you have created a everlasting impression in his life okay so so guys when i say you know be a author be somebody uh, kill your comfort zone obviously writing a book wasn't easy task for you to you were given task you were given timelines you also had the responsibilities you also had your daily routine life still you managed to do it and that's what when we leave our comfort zone and when we become somebody this this takes a lot of sacrifice right and you your sacrifice is now paying you there are children of your age who are still doing the same profile same work but you are someone now a lot of people know you and a lot of celebrity know you they take inspiration from you they you have become a brand you have created yourself all kudos to your hard work thank you so much so now uh, let's move to ovya and uh, mahi ovya tell me why you were writing those quotations what was the intention to write the quotation what do you think that when somebody will read the post obviously when we read quotations they they have so much of depth that they can change somebody's mind sometimes it's not just that two words which comes in your mind which changes your perspective did you feel like while you write a quotation this is also going to add such value to people's life who are going to be reading yeah i felt like that and it was really inspiring for me also to write those quotes there so yeah thank you so much and uh, guys when i first met ovya i still remember ovya with small hairs when she was just sitting here in this office and she came to see me and what ovya is now she has been a, a bundle of learning and inspiration all together and uh, she has in return mentored me with so many things whenever there is any challenge where a lot of people give up ovya is the one who's never giving up she is trying until she is better okay this is what her progress is and her quotations when you will read you will know they are real in depth written for making a change in society so this what uh, is power yeah. all right mahi please mahi loves sharing mahi loves giving her every message will give you that reality check huh you need to implement that in your life okay that's what she has written the quotes for they were a uh, beautiful quote so mahi which one is your favorite quote first of all you share with us and while you were writing the quotation what was that feeling inside you was it a feeling you are writing to be uh, famous or what was the feeling that you are writing to contribute for the world what was the feeling all together so first of all i would like to share the most favorite quote of all of mine so it is that you are in control of your puppet and your puppet is your mind so you can control your mind and you can't give it to someone else because if they misuse you can't get it back and so writing quotes was not that difficult but i had to research about so when i was going through many and many quotes i literally got so inspired of all of them because i had found many new people many new authors who had written many beautiful quotes and i didn't even know that these authors exist they were hidden authors so whenever you search through them you'll get more and more beautiful quotes so my objective to write this was not to be famous or anything but my objective to write this was 
my objective to write this was for the people who are depressed and the people who are sad so whenever they read this code they will get motivated by these few words by one line or so they would get motivated so whenever because i did the same whenever i used to feel sad i just went to google and i searched that yes this is the code that inspires me the most so i collab many codes and i mixed and some of them were when i was sad and what i thought could like inspire people because they inspired me so that's how i wrote codes and that's what what inspired me to wrote, write codes thank you so much mahi and uh, very beautifully quote you have just mentioned and this is one of the quote which i am going to put my status after once we are finished with this interview because i absolutely love you know listening to it this gives you a reminder that your mind is a puppet and you better get in control you know instead of your mind controlling you and mind controlling your life thank you so much pankaj uh, yes absolutely okay so thank you so much pankaj pankaj is giving us a beautiful message that you are amazing with the best ambition in life to help society proud of you guys thank you pankaj i have conveyed your message and thank you for sharing this with us all right uh, tell me one thing what is that one thing right now you are absolutely proud of in your life who want to answer this it's open for okay mahi yes um so there are few things that i'm really proud of that i did in my life first of all um i completed the course of abacus and if you don't know what abacus is it is a mathematics course where they teach you maths visually and with a device that is not a calculator so you can fast so like calculations in your daily life would be like really easy so there was three times when i won awards the first the first time was a national competition it was in my place and i got the first prize and i really want to thank my brother adi who really tutored me and because of him i won the prize and the rest two were international where i went to chennai and sri lanka and back the runners up and the last time i got the second place so i'm really proud of it and if you come to my house you will see a dressing table full of my awards and full of my medals along with my brothers so i'm really proud of what i achieved yes very nice even i have seen uh, you going into the places and absolutely not only winning awards but winning hearts of people by your by being so humble and how about you uh, pushan Adi and Ovia, what are you currently so proud of? Yes, Pushan. Yes. Ah, uh, Mesh, can I say about uh, someone in my life? Absolutely, you can. Yeah, my sister. Ah, uh, actually, she is just sixteen. She just recently turned sixteen, and when she was in grade ten, uh, 10 during the quarantine, she decided that you know what. Uh, like she had it since i think she was in grade 4 or grade 5 she had a dream that you know she wanted to be an actress so during quarantine in tanzania we were blessed with not that much covid so we didn't really have a lockdown but our schooling and stuff was uh, still online so it was basically a quarantine but still my sister was able to call like um famous photographers and stuff and they uh, they filmed a short film with her and it was really brilliant and when they did this my sister really felt inspired that you know what i have this dream but i'm not going to wait until you know i'm old or i'm 30 or 60 after i pass my college and all that i'm going to start working on my dream from now so at the age of 16 she has moved to india and over there she is contacting so many photographers so many videographers and she's working on her career and I really can't believe this because, you know, I'm in grade eight and I still have to study so hard every single day just to be able to get good grades. And she is somehow managing school, getting amazing grades, as well as doing this and uh, as really achieving her dream and also practicing her singing. So, yeah, I'm very proud of her. And yeah, right now, due to a lot of COVID and stuff, she has come here for a bit of time, but she's going to go back to India and strive to achieve her dream. And I'm very proud of her. 
Wow, thank you so much. That's so nice of you sharing the success story of your sister and the inspiration when living at your own house. There, are, there is a very less time, you know, there is always a rare quality when you find people in your house inspiring you. But when you are able to see those inspiration around, that really shows how much open and receptive you are toward the inspiration and how much acknowledge uh, you do for the greater uh, stuff which is happening around. So, Pushan, this is your reflection that uh, you always see these things in others. And that's helping you also to see inspiration in your sister. Very beautifully said. Thank you so much for sharing. We wish her a lot of good luck. And we look forward to see her in screen. And Pushan, you also have a great personality like actress. I think you should try when she gets into movies, okay? <laughs> you should also try being there on the TV. Yes, Obia. So, Obia is very excited to share with us. Yes, Obia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm really proud that I'm a I'm able to inspire people uh, because of my speeches and the quotes which I've written in the book. So that's why. Oh yes, oh yeah, and we are so absolutely proud of you and in admiration for you for being this contributor. Thank you so much. Yes, Adi, how about you? Thank you, ma'am. Like <laughs> so first of all, I'm really proud to be the co-author of the book, Inspiring Lives. Second, I'm proud of my mom because she has been running a group, Incredible Nari, since a year. And already it has more than, I think, 3K um, followers. And she's really putting a lot of work in it. And I love her determination. I also like her work-life balance. She gives equally, both, uh, equally time to work and her life to her kids, her husband. And she is like the perfect role model for me. And third... I am really proud to be safe in Tanzania. I'm really proud to be in Tanzania, to go to school safely and just be regular, like um, without any COVID because there's no, uh, you know, danger of COVID over here. I'm really proud to be in Tanzania. Thank you so much, Adi. And you rightly mentioned about your mother. Even I look up to her as an inspiration. When I look up to her, how she looks into the smallest details possible. Though your mother has a lot of uh, sibling and a lot of friend circle, which are even commonly known to me, but I still find Lalita being someone who has a greater impact and a very, very uh, right vision to look into the smallest details of happiness and creating movements for people. That's what I call her. She really creates with her personal touch the special movements for people. And her job is highly demanding, highly challenging, which, which really takes a lot of trolls in terms of time hours, energies. And in spite of everything, when she's doing the family time, it is absolutely the same quality time. When she's arranging events, it is absolutely the same level of passion. When she's living her passion of being poetess, the, the authenticity, the depth of the messages are so empowering. So, so I look up to even her as an inspiration and uh, please convey our, my regards to her for being so super amazing and for being so inspiring and inspiring everyone around us. Thank you so much. We love you, Lalita. All right. So now tell me one thing. What is that one thing which you love giving people? You enjoy giving people. What is that one thing which you love sharing with people uh, whenever, you know, that that gives you a kick so what is what is that thing which is there in your when you do you feel that you have given it enough or you you feel satisfied any any thoughts anybody want to share yeah yes pushan okay so we'll start with pushan then we move to money yes. well i never think that however much i give i never think it's enough i always feel that i have more knowledge i can always give more so i'm never like okay i'm satisfied i'm happy that i've taught the kids about this and about that but i never feel that oh you know i've given them enough because with learning there's no end to it and there's no age to it so yeah i never feel that oh you know that's it all right yes mahi please share thank you pushan so whenever I'm with someone, I really like to spread happiness around, like joyfulness and love, laughing and all. But the main thing is we, me and my family, we usually go to orphanages and the people who are on the streets to give them food, to give them clothes. And um, on two of my birthdays and recently, 
as my brother told she has a group called incredible nari on her one year anniversary we went to an orphanage to celebrate the anniversary and two of my birthdays where we cut cake we gave them food we gave them clothes and we such everything we gave them uh, we gave them games and one time we even gave them filter because they said they didn't have proper water and one time we even gave them medicines because whenever we go there i it's like really heart touching that i see all those people without families without parents and i'm blessed to have such a nice house and such nice parents so whenever we get a chance we usually go there and spend time with them so that really i like to spread th- that happiness with them true mahi and now i see where the roots are coming from you know uh, you know there i i personally feel there is so much joy in giving now giving cannot just be limited to money there can be giving of thoughts there can be giving of wisdom there can be sharing of knowledge there can be sharing of uh, blessings there can be sharing of gratitude i think we we as in a human we have so much to give you know with our eyes we could uh, give people the grace the love with our heart we could give them the blessings and the love and we could give them the good vibes with our hand and resources we could share the resources which we have extra and uh, you guys are absolutely amazing that you are giving in your own way like kushan is giving in terms of knowledge and wisdom which he has accumulated he's not keeping it accumulated with him but he's been sharing it with people and mahi is doing with the resources so that's very very beautiful mahi and mahi family kudos and love and blessings to you and that's how you land up creating a lot of blessings okay we move to obya then we move to adi yes obya please share uh, yeah so yeah ma'am so i i feel i feel happy very happy when i spread happiness with all but there is no end to it so it's not like that uh, i feel that now it's enough for now i can't more so there is no end to it so i love for spreading happiness there out there and you do that quite gracefully obya by by just being you okay i think you spread happiness <laughs> that's just the power thank you parth so thank you parth parth is uh, sharing his beautiful message here for all of you all right yes um, whatever i am um, yes okay Oh, I love I'm you. saying that whatever I am, I am because of you. I love you so much. You you have a piece of heart. You know, I'll tell you, Jia and you look so identical. And when I first met Jia, I actually started seeing your reflection in her. And I also tell Jia, Jia, I already know someone who is exactly identical to you. And uh, and trust me, both of you are like apple of my eyes. I like love you, girls. <laughs> Uh, and also you have the same kind of common interest in sharing which is Thank so you. beautiful <laughs> all right yes yes adi please share with us so i don't want to look like i'm repeating pushan mahi and uvia but i really do want to uh, spread happiness my knowledge my things with other people so that uh, they can also have what i have and we all can know each other much better we can all become much better living beings i also want to always uh, you know share my thoughts with everyone i can uh, th- share my thoughts with any stranger as well i just need to know him nicely so this is i want to really do this and uh, yes adi i have seen that side of yours and you are not repeating it when i say when we were doing living life of inspiration the book or when i say that you guys were part of a specific uh, batch there were reasons your energies your vibes your thoughts your heart set your mindset everything was so much in sync to be a change maker and that's the reason you guys were picked up and that's the reason uh, you guys were being part of it and i feel so blessed that i was lucky enough to have gems like you uh, who i could create this historic moment which we are celebrating and when you will grow up you will be celebrating it even more because you know though your upcoming generation will be looking up to you and say oh yeah there was a pandemic and you became author at that age oh my goodness we can believe you so please tell us the story please tell us so you you know you will take it so, so much proud about sharing that how just with a one wise decision 
of investing your this time improving your skill set given you a big name in society and given you an identity and touched by so many lives and given you a uh, you played a responsibility of being a contributor for the society so so happy and so blessed to have you all all right so uh, my my question to it's open question so anybody who feels like can answer it what would you do if you made rules at home what kind of rules would you make what would you do if you were to make rules at your own home what rules you would make or what rules you would break thank you so much kangana we love reading your comments and your friends are absolutely loving it thank you so much astha we are proud of you too okay adi wants to answer this question first yes adi so first of all i will just make a time table for the whole house like you have uh, to wake up at this time and uh, like do your activities till this time and at least do one hour of family time and then you can sleep whenever you want after but not while you watching tv at least not in weekdays after doing your work or something like that and wake up early in the morning do yoga and then you can do your rest of the work so i want to make a regime like that and uh, plus i want that everyone shares its feeling with each other like a uh, parent and child they talk to each other they are like friends of each other so that's the two rules i want to make wow very beautiful rules you know what adi i see a clear vision of a great uh, discipline yet loved nest what you are going to make in future you know because you already have so much clarity the wisdom which it takes to build a relationship in the family yes mahi please share with us so first of all i would like to say that my house i think it's perfect that not really like such rules like in other family there are some rules that you really need to follow so there are no rules in our house but one thing i would like to add to one of her rules is that uh, to be honest i don't really have works on sunday i completed on friday or saturday so on sunday i'm completely free but like my father my brother and my mother are like literally so busy all the time cuz he is in grade 10 and my father and mother both are working so i really sit idle so one rule i want to make is like spend family time we always do that on like sunday nights we have movie nights but in the morning i feel so bored i want uh, more family time and i think uh, to more interact with each other and play games and all play on a console so that really is fun we do that but not very often not every week but i want it more often i want it to be regular and that's it i only want this one rule to be stay, to stay and stick in our house all right so my parents if you'll be watching it or if you're watching it please this is the rule which mahi feels like implementing i think you should really create some provision for it thank you so much mahi that's that's very nice and insightful you know people who are so loving they really want to create moments which create compassion and love and this particular rule reminds me that how much knitted you are with the family bond thank you so much yes anybody else who want to share uh, between obia and pusha is there any rule okay obia has yes obia please feel free to share Uh, yes ma'am like uh, it is almost like adi and mahi because same is happening in my house also dad is working mom is having household works and then it's all that i'm sitting idle that what should i do i say them to play with me or uh, having uh, or spend some time with me they're saying that i'm doing some work so i can't uh, i'm not available right now so this is the only rule that should be applied that to, uh, sh- they should in- uh, we should interact with uh, more interact more with each other and spend more family time thank you so much all right uh, what do you think you know what qualities are in someone that makes you fall in inspiration for them what do you think uh, according to you is it a person's behavior is it the appearance or it is a characteristic what what makes you draw toward them for to be considering really as an inspiration yes mahi 
So at first, I really used to judge someone by the cover, by how they look, by how what clothes they wear. But like few years ago, I really got to know that you should judge someone by what how their heart is. If they're kind hearted, if they're hard hearted. I really nowadays I don't look how they look or I don't look at their appearance but I really get to know them and see how their heart is and I really mingle with all of them so I really think that to judge a person you don't need to see the book of the cover instead you should read the book thank you so much Mahi very insightful guys as I mentioned why did you deserve to be author can you get that where it is coming from do you think is has there been any incident i would have anything to share with them i have been learner trust me i am getting more and more better having them in my life so you could see the impact of them in my life right thank you so much mahi yes anybody else who have the same thoughts like what draw you toward inspiration in a person is it the appearance is it the behavior is it the certain characteristics yes pushan please share Uh, I would say it's the actions. Like, um, if we are faced with a certain situation in life, of course, not everyone faces bad, um, bad stuff in their life. But if a person does face anything bad in their life and they come through it, and they're able to succeed in their life, that's what I find truly inspirational in a person. And also, if they have nothing like. nothing wrong in their life at least they're trying to help the community at least they're trying to help the people and not they're doing it just to go around telling people that oh you know i did this i donated this much i did. no instead to actually fulfill themselves like if you see um uh, lalita aunty who is mahi and adi's mom she is an incredible woman she is one of these uh, people also my mom i would say because they really donate you know they give to the poor and they help the pers- uh, person who is needy may they may be rich but in knowledge they may be needy so these are the type of people who will help them and they are rich in knowledge and they are rich in values and they will provide that so that's what i feel is like truly you know inspirational in a person yeah thank you so much so such such beautifully expressed uh, question that it is a characteristic it is the actions because your actions cannot lie you know how person uh, i i tell people don't tell me that you love me show me that you love don't tell me you are human show me you are human and uh, how i really connect with people by what things i'll be very honest i see how do they behave with children or i see how do they behave with people when have they have nothing all right so a person is very uh, because you know when when a person behavior is changing because somebody influential comes or somebody low category comes in front of them then that that person is not someone who you could trust because he's faking it around or he's maybe changing or he's maybe you know be, uh, being disguised in front of influential people a right person is the one who no matter what who comes by is the same is treating everyone with the respect with love they deserve and this is what makes me uh, absolutely in awe and admiration of people and when i mentioned there like i have been also very blessed to have great mentors in my life but these two women have a deep impact in my life more which is kim and dr shivangi malatia because they are the one no matter if you are a janitor or if you are ceo or if you are director or if you are president their behavior is still the same so they deal everyone with love and respect and uh, when somebody really credit me for this i tell them it's not me i have learned this grace from my gurus my mentors and uh, this is the power of mentors you know they really shape you throughout the life and that's what they they are called so inspirational so thank you so much for share okay tell me one thing what are the few of the best things you learn from the nature around you nature is a great teacher you know the nature is always telling us giving us message sometime when you are looking at the sunset or when you are looking at the magnanimous sky or when you are looking at the air or when you are looking at the uh, any any such natural resource there is so much to learn from it so had there been any inspiration to you during That that nature moment. Yes, Ali, please share with us. Nature is actually so beautiful. I actually, you know, I want 
to sit outside in the balcony when uh, I don't have uh, much work to do. I just look at the scenery and how beautiful the wind is, how beautifully the trees move. And one thing that nature taught me, I would say, is that, uh, for example, let's take a tree. It gives shade to even the man who's cutting it down. It gives fruit to everyone. It gives wood to everyone. It is a great resource. But does it ask anything in return? No. It only asks to leave it in freedom. It does not want to be cut down. That's it. But it does not ask anything else. So what no, nature taught me is that give, give everything you have, be generous, and don't ask anything in return. That's, that just deserves a big round of applause, Adi. Absolutely, the nature is like that. You know, there is a, there is a saying uh, which I learned in Bhagavad Gita. I'm, I'm a very spiritual person and I have so much inclination toward my Bhagavad Gita. And there happened this beautiful lesson which I learned and which I would just compliment it, sharing it here. When you want to become an Amir, you have to keep your own hands on your own. But when you want to become an Amar, you have to keep your own hands on your own. And that's what nature teaches. The tree makes fruits, you know, it produces go through under a lot of labor and hard work. But it doesn't make fruits to eat itself. It makes fruits for others, right? But what, what is the result it gets when, when it is sharing the fruits with others? Obviously, it, it actually gets amar. It becomes like forever because when they share their fruits, the seeds are taken by the insects and the animals and the birds around. And the same tree is with the same quality, with same adjective, takes place in various other form and becomes another tree. So it's, it's actually getting because it's, it's becoming immortal. It's becoming by giving it is becoming immortal. And that's what I feel as a, as a coach, you know, the legacy which you leave behind in people is something that, you know, you will absolutely love about it. All right. Yes, Mahi, please share with us. So our house is located at like a very special place. At one side there's the sea, there's the ocean. At the other side there's lots and lots of greenery. It's like a full field where no, no buildings are there, no houses. It's just a field of greenery. So most of the time I spend in balcony uh, admiring that, like how beautiful nature is. And one thing that I learned from the ocean, the sea, we, me and my family, like most of the time, visit the beach. So if you throw a ball or one of your shoe in the sea, it will come back to you somewhere or never. Because that's what I learned. If you give something, it will come back to you. Maybe if not now, in another form or sometime else. So if you throw, it's just like an experiment. If you throw a shoe, in like few minutes, it will wave back to you. So this what this is what I really learned from the sea, that whatever you give will come back. If you give bad, bad will come back. If you get good, good will come back. So and I, I think I work with this process that if you get something, the twice of that will come back to you. It's like the best. Give the best, you will get the best. So that's what I stick to. And the C is the best example for it. Very, very deep thought you shared with me, Mahi, today. Yes, our vibes attracts the tribe. Whatever we are vibrating and whatever level we are vibrating, we are actually attracting the same energy back in one form or other. Very beautifully expressed. Uh, yes. Uh, Obia and Kushan, do you have anything to share or we move to the next question? Uh, we can. <laughs> because I yes. was having the same thought as Mahi, but Mahi shared it first, so I, I'm like, okay, yeah. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, tell me one thing, guys. You, you are quite now on social handles and you share your motivational messages, you share your speeches uh, through many platforms. Had there been any incident uh, that uh, people have showed a lot more love for you? Or had there been also kind of comments or criticism about it? So because when you, when you share, you also become vulnerable. Yes, Mahi, please share with us. 
so i first really didn't post on social media but then uh, miss priyanka bhel came up with the 21 day challenge or some challenge like that where you had to post motivational videos of yours to the social media to facebook so at first i was really hesitating but then once i posted it i am so grateful that there were no haters out there everyone loved my speech and i was so overwhelmed i did not expect that kinds of comments in my in, under my video there is so much love so much love i think that social media is divided into like two sections one of the haters which you should not concentrate on and like the givers the lovers i think they are so kind i love them a lot they are like giving so much to me showing so much love to me and whenever i read those comments i really get overwhelmed thank you so much mangi yes obia please share yeah ma'am so ma'am uh, first time it was in that 21 day challenge only when i shared my uh, video on facebook uh, the social media Yeah. So um, there were no hating comments on there. Yeah, but I actually don't really know about it because I didn't check. My mama and papa were all were they they already were checking. So, uh, uh, the thing which I know that there were hate comments in there. All the people were showing love. So I really I'm really thankful to them for showing this much. Absolutely, you deserve all the love. Uh, you guys were really, really consistent, and your messages were so full of wisdom and so full of uh, you know, it, it can it can aim a change in someone. And some of your messages were really admired by everyone. Even your co-competitors were competing with them. I saw them commenting and liking and loving, which really shows that when you you know win hearts of people, this is what is the biggest victory I think you can ever get. All right. Uh, tell me, of all the things you are learning right now, what are what do you think? There are few skills you are so proud of, or is going to be helping you as an adult when you grow up. All right. I think Avi is signed off. I'll be just taking Avi into the stream. Uh, yes. I guess we have taken Avi. Yes. All right. So I'll repeat the question as Avi has just joined. of all the things you are learning what do you think will be the most useful when you are an adult of all the skills all the things which you are learning at this stage yes yes kushal uh, okay miss there is many things that i can see myself doing right now that i i am sure that i'll carry on into the future and i'm sure that is what will carry me to success one is me waking up early every single day and i either work out or i study which i think is uh, i think most successful people they all wake up early for example if you see bill gates or shahrukh khan or uh, not shahrukh khan i meant uh, akshay kumar yes so many successful people they wake up in the morning and that's when they find themselves the most um let's just say like the best yeah themselves at the best of times in the morning time so i think that's one of the things another is my curiosity and my reading so uh, through reading i've already learned so much and that is why i i also consider myself to be wise or knowledgeable and other thing is my curiosity to know stuff so i often search up something that i want to know about or if my dad asks me a question and I'll search up about that. Or I often even ask my dad so many questions. So I think these are the few things I'll carry on to the future, and they'll be very helpful to me. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, you rightly said that the first habit, which which is if you are an early riser, that kickstart your day because you are starting your day way ahead the other average people are even thinking of. Very rightly said, and it is one of the habit even I swear by and I live up to. no matter what i'm not a night out person uh beat covid or without covid i've always been a person who actually hits the bed at 9 and wakes up at sharp 4 so i'm a 4 am club person and then i have so much of time and control on my life and uh, which other people just dream of i land up achieving them just because of this habit this habit has really worked like a miracle in my life 
So I uh, very rightly said, Kushan, high five for this. <laughs> yes, Mahi, you wanted to share with us. Yeah. Ma'am, you really stole words out of my mouth because I was going to say the same thing that I think Ma'am's gone, but I would continue. Yeah, she's just gonna say. I think that uh, waking up in the morning at four o'clock and sleeping at like early to bed makes you like really perfect because you utilize all the like that twenty four hours in a day. But most of my hours goes in sleeping. So like half of my day goes in sleeping, waking up late, sleeping late, and I really wake up very early. So I want to make this regular. my habit like of waking early regular because if you see akshay kumar he has many motivational videos where he tells that i wake up at 4 o'clock he does gym he does spends with his family and like most of his day is utilized so that's what i want to implement when i grow up and make it regular because there are 24 hours in a day and i want to utilize as much as hours i could So I would really like to implement that rule. Thank you so much. Very beautifully said. Yes, Sobia, please share with us. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Like ma'am as ma, he said that uh, I also like waking up early, but there are times when I and I'm just sleeping, and uh, some time goes in that sleeping only. And I also want to make it a regular habit to wake up early and all because at weekends I'm like sleeping till eight or eight thirty. So I just want to. Wanted to be as a, I uh, wanted to be a early and and I also want to implement it into my future. All right. Yes, I Adi, you want to share with us? I'm actually I've been going in and out, so I don't oh, even I'm know so the sorry. question. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. I'll, I'll repeat my question. Yes, uh, though thinking that you are on and off, I was asking the question. That's the reason again, again. All right. Of all the things you are learning right now, okay, what do you think is the most useful when you become an adult? Of all the skills or all the things, all the habits which you are learning, what do you think your this habit will be the most successful? You know, when you grow up as an adult. Okay, so which habit will be useful to me in the future when I am an adult? I would say the most important uh, habit is to respect adults. You know, when you give respect to others, you get respect back, and you should not uh, just like uh, judge anyone by their cover. Like uh, many people must have heard this, but you must not judge people by their appearances, and you must always make friends. Which are good. So, if you have good a company, it decides how your future is because you spend most of the time with them, and that is the most important part of your life. And I also learned that you must learn to, you know, have uh, life skills not only in education, but but you know you need to also know that how to cook food or how to dress up your bed or how to clean up uh, any. Yes, in your room, you should know these life skills so that you don't uh, suffer in the future. So I have been learning these skills, and I think these will help me in the future. Yes, and you, you are one of a gentleman. You know, you already treat everyone, everyone. I, I have seen you in batches. I've seen you otherwise behaving with people. i think your behavior is with so much of respect and love for others and i'm so absolutely proud of this habit of yours keep it up and keep it always forever and be an inspiration like your dad is he's a gentleman i think when people look up to him he's someone who's like so full of respect for women so full of respect for people elder adults i see pankaj uh, when his birthday is there like everyone gets like so full of love and admiration for him and this you earn you know this you earn by your behavior so very great habit which you have installed in you are thank you yes all right so so moving on yes obia please uh yeah ma'am i'm ma actually i wanted to share a quote that really inspired me that the hard work is like 
एक विंग्स द मोर यू फ्लटर हायर यू फ्लाई दिस इज द कोड विच हेज रियली इंस्पायर्ड मी इन माई लाइफ सो लाइक the more hard work you do really your uh, fruit of that true true there are no shortcuts to success it's it's just the hard work and it is the right consequences and it is the right attitude which decides our altitude in life very rightly mentioned over here okay uh, guys now i'll uh, have to ask you about your journey how it had been with empower kids with me please be very honest and share what had been the shift what had been the likes and dislikes please be kind to share with us i i would really love to take it as a memory with me forever and i would like to really know what's inside yes ovia please uh yeah ma'am the journey with you has been amazing i'm the first because i didn't knew also that uh, what is this and what all but uh, my mother and father said that you have this is a uh, teacher and you have to go then i was like Ki, okay i will go them and the first day i went there i i was so fascinated and uh, now and then every uh, week i i just waited for the weekend to come and then uh, i will go to uh, mom's classes and will enjoy so this was so the i enjoyed a lot with you and that's what then that was the best experience thank you so much ovia thank you so much yes between yes mahi please share so as soon as you told the question the first two letters or the first two words came into my mind was amazing fantastic fabulous it was it was such a good journey and a journey it's go- keep going on it will never stop and but the one thing i hate not hate it is forced to be because of this distance of us being online and this pandemic i really want to meet you in person it would be like the best day of my life i am and so humbled <laughs> yes yes that's the thing i really dislike about this online but um i want to say that this journey has been amazing from the first class my me and all of all of my friends and my parents noticed a like a like change in me which uh, which was really good and my english was at first not very good but like after after taking your classes after having your advices it's literally like perfect not perfect we can say but it has been much more better thank it's you like so much it's like all because of you and this thank position you. where i am getting interviewed by you and i have written a book which you have supported it's all because of you i would like to thank you a lot thank you so much beta for all the love and trust me uh, when i say this there there were a lot of great teachers around the world okay a lot of great learn a lot of great resources but only when we become receptive we start attracting those things in our life so whatever we achieve it is always our hard work and uh, i i must say this for your hard work which has brought you here and you have earned it yes um, anybody else who want to share or we move to the next question okay adi yes Yes, Adi. Please share. So, being with inspire, inspiring lives, being a part of your tribe has given me enormous opportunities. So, these opportunities I could not have gotten without you, and uh, these opportunities have given me, have shown me that I have a talent in this, in this platform. I. Can go and grow in it, and that's all thanks to you. thank you so much adi and uh, you know what i personally feel there are two things which nobody can take away from you one is your attitude one is your communication skills you know so if you, these are the skills one need at every level of life no matter what job you choose what profession you choose you got to be influential and creating the difference and uh, with with so many people around us who even at such big age find this struggle i have been grew up in a society where i was at adult stage i had the same struggle so i know how much it pains 
you guys are intelligent enough that you adopted this habit at such young age and i'm so proud of you in, instead of i'm grooming you i think i a lot of time get groomed by you your ideas yes pusha you wanted to share something please yeah uh, miss through uh, through being with you i have learned a lot especially like you have given me an opportunity to spread or whatever knowledge i've learned through reading books and everything and the most important thing i've learned by you which every time you know we have our public speaking classes in your name there's always be your best version and that i think is it's like your life like motto it's what you have always taught us be our best versions and i think that you have really brought out my best version in this in this book in this public speaking in everything so i i have to thank you a lot for that thank you so much thank you so my thank you so much pushan that was very very heartful and uh, i always myself feel the only competition we have in our own life is our own excel you know we are no we are we are no we are worthy of being comparable to somebody who doesn't have a same life like ours who somebody who doesn't have a conditioning like ours somebody who doesn't have a you know thinking like ours the culture like ours the only competition even when i see myself i see it is with me i i never see that there are people who who i deserve to be competing with i always feel that what i have to be my best version i should not be at the same stage where i was few days back even i was yesterday i every day my my son and my kid they, they know this is the journal which i every day maintain and trust me this has every day something or others to challenge my own self okay something which i am not uh, doing very good i would always improve myself by writing in my journal and i'll complete it by end of the day and uh, that's what i even teach to everyone you don't have any competition there is never like pushan is going to be better than adi or adi is going to be pushan better than pushan but it is adi is going to be better than adi x adi is going to be better than adi yesterday and when you are at that level trust me you come out at a bigger level of the game you know how how other people are when they are in a competition with others you are full of hatred jealousy you are so full of ego you are so full of you know insecurities and fear but what if you are competing only with your own self only with the ineffective habits of yours you are every day striving to be better to be achieving better to be patting on your back yes today i have lived my day more gracefully than i lived yesterday and i think that's what the be your best version is all about and this what i always feel that has been my motto and that that's what i wanted to bring out in your children thank you so much mr misri uh, i so sincerely appreciate this beautiful comments of yours and uh, yes they are little genius you absolutely pointed out right and uh, now you see it's not the great grooming by me it is the great mentees like them who make a great groomer like me okay so i'm so humble all right guys so be uh please share with me the your you know token of acknowledgement and appreciation which you got being an author so that other people can really see you know these people they they deserve even more they they deserve a bigger platform than this but due to pandemic we could not arrange it so mahi is holding her golden award with with her yes mahi so thank you so much and adi is holding his and uh, i was lucky enough i could send that to tanzania and obia is holding her so 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 glad to see you and pushan has one but pushan is with africa so i think his award is in ahmedabad right now okay so oh, now yeah. okay i i have to ask you the impromptu question about each other okay uh, now listening to each other finding each other self and some of you even know each other now tell me if I, if you have to put the th two things which you love about someone what would that be so mahi what would be the two things which you absolutely admire in pusha not only to the many and many so first of all i really like how he inspires other how he is like a coach at a very young age and i want that quality in myself and the second is how he treats others like he treats us so kindly he is so grateful about what he has and he is like 
so humble and gentle with everyone not, and not only friends and uh, like everyone even strangers he is so kind to all of them i want that quality in myself oh pushan ji you are inspiring thank you so much bhai <laughs> you are inspiring masses you are inspiring masses and this is absolutely what you know what even in my classes when i would just immediately ask a question pushing with with a very humble and right approach would be the first to acknowledge yes uh, we are here matlab he'll be just taking the leadership for the community he'll be taking leadership for the class he'll be someone who will be just like always giving adding value appreciating open heartedly generously to people this is and this is the best quality i that uh, i would like to add i really like pushan's yes, voice please, and i think that his mind processes as a mature mind he is like a gentleman now i really like his voice the way he styles and his mature mind absolutely he is a gentleman and already not in the making but already made I I call Pushan. Pushan, you are a gentleman. You know, we we have a gentleman in the class. While I look up to you. All right. Uh, so may I now request Pushan to put two qualities which you like about Adi. Okay, Adi. Adi, I've known actually for quite some time. Our moms are are actually are quite good friends. They meet at Incredible Nari and other such things. and adi i've always found is a very like i would say very modest because when you look at him he you would never think like if i were him if i would have accomplished like you know writing a book and all this i would go around screaming that oh you know i've done this i've done this but he's a very modest guy he keeps it to himself and when someone appreciates it he takes it whole heartedly but he doesn't go around showing off so that's a really uh, great uh, what should i say like attitude that he has that i would love to also um, get in my life so yeah that's one really great thing that adi has so yeah all right okay so opia uh, find out two qualities which you like about mahi and one one quality i need from pushan and adi also okay okay so about mahi actually i know her from a quite a while quite a few time but uh, whatever i've been uh, knew about her is that she's really a kind hearted person uh, she always stays happy she's really a kind hearted person and uh, she um uh, and i would like to say that she's very cute yeah. and <laughs> so that's what you're always happy and making everyone happy that's what you know when you are vibrating your vibes people automatically fall in love with your vibrations yes i want to hear from pushan also mentioning about mahi what do you like about her uh miss i find it really incredible that at such a young age she has also um developed so much in her life uh like for example uh, the other day i went to her birthday party i saw some artwork she did and it was really amazing like that's one thing i want to learn from her about her her real like, curiosity and her ability to develop in any aspect of life for example her art her public speaking i've been watching so many of her 21 day challenge videos and i could truly see that she was striving to improve and she really did improve so that's a brilliant thing that she has in her life which i would love to incorporate into my life and also that she's extremely confident she is like straight to the point she won't go around you know different no she will get straight to the point and she is very kind in her words she doesn't uh, she never rude to anyone she will give them a nice uh, she will be a nice critic but she won't also be rude she's a very nice person that's what i feel about her absolutely absolutely and may Thank i hear so from adi and <laughs> my cheeks are okay. hurting <laughs> okay can i can i also know from adi you know adi you spend a lot of time with mari yes. so we would like to hear from you too i'm actually kind of jealous of her because if we compare me of 11 year old and uh, the present pari so, so i think she's over here i my 11 year old was somewhere here you know she's a such a such a influencer in such a short age she has achieved so many things and i i would say that she's 
it's uh, like going equal to me although i'm 3 years uh, older than her but still she's able to put shoulder to shoulder with me and tell that i am with you and i really like her support she is always helps me with something i i help her with some things for writing etc and uh, she is actually a very good uh, speaker her voice has that you know convincing theme that if she tells it then it is a fact it is a fact nobody can move it for me it is something like that even if it is wrong it is such a convincing theme to her voice i just love it very nice <laughs> very nice thank you overwhelming words by my brother <laughs> <laughs> you you must record it and you must share it okay so whenever you know that yes. he is uh, trying to tease you obviously you say you know you want you declare that on a big platform that i have such qualities okay <laughs> All right. May I now, because you've been hearing Ovia, uh, what do you, what do, what are the qualities which you know during this conversation and during your classes you liked about Ovia? Who would I share that? Yes. Okay. Yes, Pusha. Uh, Miss, I don't think I've really like have the conversation with uh, Ovia before, but throughout the course of this class, I find her to be a very like genuine person, a very uh, like happy-go-lucky person who is uh, excited and happy and everything. So yeah, that's my impression of her. You know, very like cheery little girl. You know. <laughs> yes, she is. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She she's so adorable and so. just such a joy I, i say that compassion joy love all all are her adjectives uh yes adi you want to share anything adi and mahi okay so so okay uh now i want you to keep yes, your yes. yes and no Okay. Oh, yes, Abi. Please. So I think Ovia. She is. Uh, I don't know her much, but I think she is very impromptu, and I just love her smile. It's uh, so cute, and um, her speaking skills are also very good. The quotes she wrote were amazing. Thank you so yes, much for this appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ovia. Ah, uh, yes, Mahi, please share, please. I'm so sorry, I was gone for a while, but I really admire some things about Ovia. First of all, she's really pretty, and I love her smile. She keeps smiling all the time, and the way that she speaks, the inspiring quotes of her. I read the book, and at the last, the ten quotes that she wrote. Was really amazing. I really loved them. Thank you so much. So much of clarity. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. Okay. See, uh, you know, the seeing qualities in others, it it takes a lot of courage, and it takes a lot of receptiveness, as I mentioned. So, what qualities we actually see is the reflection of our own thoughts. You know. so you guys are so beautiful that even when you meet someone for the first time that's what i absolutely love the energy of this group they are always trying they are have seen everything from the filter of love compassion grace and respect to others and this word i really wanted to give because this interview is completely impromptu none of the answers were they knew that what am i going to ask them they just knew that i am going to have a conversation i kept it really really impromptu so to show you the real colors of these people why i feel uh, they are the you know colors of the rainbow of my sky and when i say that you could see what kind of adjective these people are having these small young children are having thank you so much okay i want you to be ready with the impromptu round now a rapid fire okay so yes or never so you can place your card of yes or never it's going to be little funny okay i may ask you any question which may have an answer where you could just don't have to unmute yourself but you can just place your play card okay yeah all right okay have you ever cheated on any test to get good grades so you can say the answer yes or never you can. all right yes guys the authenticity never 
can you believe this these are the children when i say they are inspiration they are inspiration in true sense okay all right have you ever been bullied by your own friends never so much loved okay all right have you ever showed off someone to hurt their emotions or feelings never okay so so those who are watching could you could you see the level of the greatness the children are having by by showing it okay to you to increase your pocket money or to get any kind of financial aid and benefit have you ever lied to your parents never thank you thank you so much all right have you ever watched a scary movie and got scared in the night in the dreams <laughs> yes okay adi has yes okay adi i'm i we are high five on this okay i'm one of the person i cannot really watch the scary movies yes <laughs> all right um have you ever been to a birthday party and actually stole the idea to create the same party at your end <laughs> okay all right adi took some inspiration yes even i create a lot of inspiration adi when i see there are people create such beautiful surprises i really take inspiration and do that at at my end i think and it, we must get inspired and all good things need to be spread but i also credit them uh, i'm uh, I, i just shamelessly admit i'm stealing your ideas because i absolutely loved it and i really want to create the same moment for my child at my home so i i do that yes we we are same okay have you ever got on the stage for public speaking championship and your legs were shivering with fear backstage never okay <laughs> all right all right very good the very first good. time okay. when i went on stage and that to you win yes over oh, yeah, that time you you win right you won the second prize if i'm not mistaken yeah okay thank you yeah all right all right Have you ever been sent to principal office for any mistakes or fault? Never, never. Okay. <laughs> yes, Adi. Okay, Adi. <laughs> okay. All right, Adi. So I was in both sure the fourth grade. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Have you ever done a prank with someone and then deny the fact that you were not involved? never okay never okay so yes ushana has yes and adi has yes they being little naughty too okay they have the naughty side all right okay uh, tell me one prank, but i did really admit that yes it was my prank so i'm in between <laughs> all right okay have you ever been so uh, there have there been any time the time when you wanted to really punch the person on the face but instead you said the kind words being diplomatic <laughs> yes okay never yes okay <laughs> yeah pushan is so authentic thank you so much so i i'll take all your compliments pushan as a compliment which you said because i know you never do that <laughs> all right okay have you ever done a mistake yourself but put a blame on your sibling never Yes. Okay. Miss, it's actually. Uh, I mean, yes. 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 Okay. 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 It is best yes. for all. It's so I, 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 do, I do anything, anything. I'm like, ah, oh, Bandura, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Like every single time, it's, it's. I will get into it. So, right. so, so I, I better mind that that your parents are watching it, and when they are watching it, they know that next time if you're saying so, what they have to do. I think this is sibling rivalry. so which has caught on to the net and caught on the web you all are caught in the web <laughs> by doing this all right have you ever done um have you ever really you know gone against your parents wish to to a particular place or to got your own demand fulfilled and then felt extremely regretful that why did you not listen okay never all right never okay lovely lovely All right. 
has there been any time the melt down moments melt down is like when you break away you cry all your lungs you know your lungs out you cry completely have there been any melt down moments in your life uh by not winning any achievements okay all right yes and uh, meltdowns are acceptance right yes and never okay mahi why yes and never both <laughs> it keeps going on on and on never okay no, um, i did really have some times but it was not like a complete breakdown it was for some half an hour or some but then Mom, my mom called me and all, and then I was in a happy mood again. It was not like a complete breakdown. Right. Same here. Okay. Same here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. When you said meltdown, I was like, okay, yes. And then uh, afterward, you said after while not achieving anything, then I'm like never, because I have okay. had a meltdown, but not from achieving, like uh, not from loss of anything. <laughs> my friend All was right. going best friend. That's why I had a meltdown. Yeah, same, okay. same, 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 Rekabi. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. Have you ever, to impress someone, pretended to be based on the person liking and disliking? Never. Okay, never. Very nice. Yes. Okay, Mahi. <laughs> never. Okay, Mahi. <laughs> Mahi, who who that be? Who that person be? Who is the luckiest person who you ever wanted to be like or pretended to be in front of? I I just wanted to make friends, and her likings and my likings were completely different. So I changed <laughs> some of mine, but we are friends now. It worked. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, yes, there there are some cases like when we want to be friend like, and we wanna be in that friend zone. Then we kind of know that to be friend, we not got to have a same liking disliking, so that at least we are like little comfortable. Yes, absolutely. You know they say when your qualities matches you get married but when your bad qualities matches you get best friends so i have my common uh, seven best friends whose my bad qualities matches <laughs> so i got seven best friends in my life and uh, uh, this is how we are and we we share common interest uh, but yes now i have adopted their their interest into my liking like earlier i have not been a person who would listen to bollywood songs but now i listen to because two of my friends are singers uh i would earlier not watch classical dance but now i actually watch classical dance because i have to appreciate my friend about her classical moves you know and you have to say this mudra was so beautiful but i don't know about mudra so i've learned about it you know to be to be just like the cheerleader so we also we do that yes absolutely love it so thank friends i have been interested in same as she has or he has yes true 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 and and i i feel you know my my best friends have been like they are so different than me but i absolutely love that thing because this difference has helped me grow multifold in other arena of my life like uh, other arena you know which uh, which i wasn't very good at but i learned that those skills from them like one of my, my friend really taught me how to be a great parent uh, one of my friend really taught me how to have a good health because he's completely fitness free and uh, whatever whenever he's talking he gives so much of wisdom about uh, you know uh, and one of my friend really taught me how to do the good skin care and one of my friend taught me how to be a good homemaker so there are so many aspects i wasn't good at but i learned from them and i think that's what makes us unique and that's how having a friends with different qualities help you actually grow so thank you so much guys i had real 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 fun interacting with you i wish uh, we could in one hour sessions of ours we could have conversations like this but there have been so many things which i learned today about you and i feel absolutely blessed about it thank you so much and uh, please uh, give the final one line message for our viewers about the life how their life should be what is that one thing which they need to take away from your interaction the final advice for our listeners yes pushan please share start working on yourself instead of looking at other people and seeing what they have that you don't All right. And, Thank you so much. And and also get living life of inspiration, the best book. Thank you so much. Yes, Mahi, please share. 
so um b- before leaving i want to say that be yourself i can't say how you want to live your life i can't give you information to how to live your life but it's your life so you have control on it and make use of that control be yourself thank you so much my million dollar advice yes uh, yes obia please share yeah ma'am ma'am i would like to say that always learn from others and try to implement those in your lives This exactly is, uh, life is too short to make mistakes yourself we all can learn lessons from others which they have made mistakes right yeah. and what they are doing good thank you so much obia beautiful advice yes adi we would thank love you, to hear from you age does not matter you can do anything in any age and just don't give up if you have the determination and the hard work to do something the whole world will get you to work to get that achievement you just need to have the determination and hard work thank you that's that's very very deep ma adi and always uh, such deep message comes such deep and profound learning always comes from you thank you so much guys for being with us online those who will be watching us also later on i feel so much in gratitude i breathe in gratitude for sparing your time this is the best investment we can do you know for each other that's giving our precious time and our presence and those who have been part of our conversations today and have been giving blessing to all these beautiful children i feel deeply in gratitude to all of you and uh, yes mahi you want to share something Ma'am, thank you for the kind words you say. But I just want to inform everyone that these words that Ma'am, which are saying to us, this is really because Ma'am made us like that. It is because of you that, and I am grateful to have like a tutor like you because it is so amazing that you made us reach to this platform. And these words that you're saying. to others that you like this about me you like this about me it is just build up because of you you made that strength in me so i would really like to thank you i feel blessed bit i feel absolutely blessed i feel so grateful it has been such an uh, amazing learning experience i will be in fact you know all my students i really watch their interviews their conversations again that's what makes me a better person and today you guys have really added so much value in my life i can't even thank you enough for being there and for being for this greater cause and mahi is also supporting the another cause which we are going to do together uh, for our poetry book the first book which we are going to launch in this month and mahi being the poet there and she is being uh, going to go gaga and win hearts and uh, you know when people's hearts and when people's feelings for sure so thank you so much to all of you have a blessed blessed life keep inspiring each one of us by being yourself keep spreading the light because this is what you all are carrying you know you are the little stars who are illuminating the world and when i say that i am very confident and proud that my future generation is going to have some real heroes by looking at you and this what you are at young age i'm so super proud take care and lots of love lots of love lots of blessings for you mom it was a and great I'm privilege to be here on this platform it was a great thank privilege. you so much i hope this impromptu yes, interview didn't was scare awesome. you at all mm-hmm. i hope this impromptu conversation didn't scare you at all and we were always heart to heart i wanted to build authenticity and i want you to really bring hard to hard conversation that matters no ma'am it was really i yeah, really ma'am. very thankful to have an interview thank you so much ma'am yeah we're really thankful thank, thank you bye ma'am thank you so much bye ma'am thank you so much bye bye take care love you bye. all bye 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 ma'am